so in the purple that we read it was pointed out to the six sons by devaki represent the enemies to spiritual life you may remember that lust anger greed illusion madness and envy these are known as kama krodha loba moha mada and matsarya kama is lust and krodha is anger loba is greed na huh? and moha is illusion mada is madness and matsarya is envy so these six are enemies for spiritual life lust and greed envy hatred madness these are our enemies because of these enemies we can't make spiritual progress so the killing of the six sons of devaki as proper as very nicely explained explains that we must kill these six enemies of spiritual life then krishna will appear in your womb then you will feel the presence of krishna as long as one is affected by the enemies of spiritual life lust anger greed envy madness huh? hatred in the bhagavad gita krishna asked was asked by arjuna how is one compelled into sinful acts even unwillingly or what is krishna like it is lust only the all devouring enemy of the living entity which is always burning like fire and which can never be satiated so this process of krishna consciousness which begins with the execution of shravanam kirtanam leading on to vishnu smarana and other forms of devotional service are the weapons through which lust and greed envy hatred madness can be controlled as krishna says in the bhagavad gita devi esha guna mai mama maya duratya mama mama me prapadyante maya me tam tarandi te to overcome the illusory energy of mind is very difficult but one who surrenders unto me he can overcome the illusory energy so surrendering to krishna means surrendering to krishna's instructions and as we surrender to krishna's instructions and take shelter of the path of shamnam kirtanam we will be able to understand the greatness of krishna more and more so on this auspicious day all of us falling in the feet of lord balaram should pray to lord balaram so that he may bless us with spiritual strength and with this spiritual strength you can smash lust anger greed and we hatred otherwise you can't but now someone may say yes i will pray to lord balaram but if you just pray to lord balaram and not krishna but you don't sincerely follow his instructions then that will not be enough also you have to actually follow their instructions but what does it mean when you get the mercy of the spiritual master what does it mean when you get the mercy of lord balaram what does it mean you get the mercy of lord krishna many times they don't even want to know this how do you measure the dosage of that mercy like you take some liquid you can measure you know this is the medicine i'm taking so we go to a saintly personality we go to a spiritual personality we go to the spiritual master we say please give me your mercy we go to lord balaram and say please give us your mercy isn't it we'll go to lord krishna and say please give us your mercy what how does this mercy get manifested so what this means is that if you are sincere in your prayer then the lord and the spiritual master will bless you so that you become more determined to pursue spiritual life and as you become more and more determined to pursue spiritual life it will be easier easier to defeat the enemies of spiritual life you understand so that is what it means to get the mercy so by praying to lord balaram on auspicious days we get lord balaram's mercy and then we follow lord balaram's instructions which are not different from krishna's then we will become more and more determined to make spiritual progress and as you make spiritual progress you will feel more and more happiness and anybody who hears the glories of lord balaram he also becomes el- eligible to go to the kingdom of god in the bhagavatam it is described just by hearing lord balaram's glories you can make advance and what we have presented to you today is point 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 one person of lord balaram's unlimited glories and glories are unlimited hari krishna